awesome people welcome to another episode of so addicts today's episode i'm going to be showing you guys how to make these diy tapered pants which is actually a continuous video from the last video i posted showing you guys how to do this diy drape top so i hope you guys really enjoyed that video and i hope you guys enjoyed this one as well all the pattern details for this pant is actually in the previous video so make sure to check out that previous video and trust me it does complement this pant so you might as well just watch both videos i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you're new here welcome to my channel make sure to hit down that red subscribe button and let's just get started with a tutorial so getting started i have my white ponty knit for my pants and also this 0.75 elastic waistband so going into the patterns, uh, I have my number five pattern, which is the front and also the darts, and it's also the tapered leg. And then you also have your number six pattern, which is the back, and it's also the tapered leg. So the next pattern is number nine, which is the pattern for our waistband. And of course, you also have number 10, which is supposed to be the size of your elastic band. So now I actually, I'm going to go right ahead and cut out my front pattern on my fabric and you want to make sure to place your fabric on faux so you can just cut out the two patterns simultaneously. So I'm just going right ahead and actually pinning this on the fabric so I could cut it out nice and neat. So the next thing we're actually going to do is to trace out our dart. So I am going to be tracing out the medium dart because I actually cut out a uh, medium from my pattern. So if you cut out the small, the extra small, you want to make sure to trace that dart. So I just went ahead and I actually have these um, tracing papers that I just go ahead and I use my tracing wheel and I'm able to imprint the um, marks of the dart on my fabric. So after you've pretty much done that, uh, you could just go right ahead and cut out your pant. So then we're also basically going to do the same thing for our back as well. You want to make sure to place this on fold. And I just want you guys to pay attention to the um, waistline and stitching lines here. Um, you don't need to trace that out. I am going to be showing you guys what to do later on in the video. So you just want to go right ahead and cut this out as well. So now I'm also cutting out my number nine pattern piece, which is the waistband, and I'm just shrinking it on this little piece of fabric I have left, but you also want to make sure to cut this out in two. So moving on, in addition to cutting out a number nine waistband piece, you also need to cut out a interfacing piece as well. So you just want to cut out one piece of interfacing in the same shape as your number nine pattern. And now we're also going to go right ahead and cut out the length of our waistband. You could kind of um, figure out what you want for this. If you want yours a little tighter, then you go shorter. If you want yours a little looser, then you go longer. So after cutting this out, now we have our two front pieces, which I, as you guys can see, I have the darts here. They're not really obvious, but they are. And we're just gonna go right ahead and actually sew our darts down. So I'm just going ahead and actually pinning this where I can see um, how to sew it. And we're just gonna run that on the sewing machine. So I have this all sewn up and of course also pressed. Now you want to make sure to press it facing towards the center front of your pattern. So now I also have my back and we are going to be attaching the front and back together. So the front and back are going to be attached usually by the um, center front and the center back together all the way to the crotch. So you want to make sure to put right sides to right sides and it's really hard to see because my fabric is white actually but you want to make sure to put right sides to right sides and we're just going to go right ahead and actually sew this down the leg so i went ahead and actually sewed this down the leg as you guys can see and don't forget to do the same thing for the other piece as well so now that we have done that for the other piece, we're just gonna go right ahead and actually attach these two pieces together. So you wanna make sure to place the fabric again, right sides to right sides, and then we're just gonna sew right around the center back, center back, center front, center front. So we're just gonna go right in this U kind of shape all the way from end to end. So I went ahead and actually sewed this down as you guys can see. Uh, it's also neatly pressed and you could just go right ahead and actually snip a little bit into that crotch area just so it gives you a little bit of ease and it's able to move freely. 
So now that we've done that, we're gonna go right ahead into our waistband. Now for the waistband, it's a little bit more complicated, but the first thing we wanna do is to attach our interfacing to one piece of our waistband. So all you gotta do is just place this on and put that through your iron and it pretty much just sticks on the fabric. So now we have that pattern piece and we're also gonna grab the other um, waist pattern piece. And the next thing we wanna do is to fold the bottom of the pattern piece without the waistband. So I'm just going right ahead right now and I'm just folding the bottom of one of the pattern pieces. Now we're gonna fold this bottom at about five eighths of an inch and I'm going ahead as you guys can see and pinning this down. So what we wanna do here is to actually press this down with our iron. So I went ahead and actually pressed it with the iron as you guys can see, we're not gonna sew anything right now. And the next thing we wanna do is to basically just trim this down, making sure we're trimming it to basically about like half of what you have right now. So now we're gonna go ahead and actually attach that pattern piece to the other pattern piece, making sure that right size facing right size, as you guys can see, and we're just gonna sew this down on the sewing machine at 5 eighths of an inch. So I went ahead and actually sewed this down as you guys can see. You could even go ahead and even trim that down a little further if you want. And we're pretty much just gonna fold this over as you guys see, and we're just gonna press this down so it lays down neatly. So at this point, we have successfully prepped our sleeve. As you guys can see, it is laying down nice and neat. So now we're gonna grab our pant, and we're pretty much gonna try to attach our waistband to the front of our pant. So you wanna grab the front of your pant, which is the one that has the darts, and we're just gonna go right ahead and attach the waistband to the front of our pant. Now you wanna attach this side, not the side that was folded previously. You wanna attach the bigger side, as you would say, to the front of your um, pant. So you just wanna walk the waistband nicely into the pant, and we're just gonna sew that at 5 eighths of an inch. So now that we've successfully sewn that down, everything is laying so nice and neat as you guys can see. So now we're gonna go address the back of our pants. Now this looks a little bit complicated, but it's really not. We're just gonna go right ahead and actually measure an inch and a half um, from the edge of the top of the back of our pants. Um, and we're measuring an inch and a half down. And I'm only using pins to mark this because I don't want to um, put any marks on my white pants, but I'm <laughs> just using pins to mark this. So you wanna go ahead and actually fold over an inch and a half and we're not gonna sew this yet what you really want to do is just press this down with your iron so I went ahead and actually pressed this down nice and neat and the next thing we're gonna do is to fold the bottom of this piece at about a quarter of an inch in and we're just going to go ahead and actually top stitch this on our sewing machine so I'm just folding a quarter of an inch as you guys can see and we're going to just top this stitch on the sewing machine so I went ahead and actually top stitched it, as you guys can also see, and now we are going to insert our elastic. So obviously this is gonna make your pants uh, fit a little better. So a good way to do this is to attach your elastic to a safety pin and actually push this through your um, waistband hole. You don't wanna do this by your hand because it is gonna take forever, trust me. So now that I've passed this through, I actually pinned the waistband to the edge as you guys can see right there, and I was able to pull it out on the other side. And you could just also go ahead and put a pin right there so it stays in place. And now you have that nice, good stretch. So now we're actually gonna attach our front and back together. So we're gonna attach this at the side seams. Now, you wanna make sure to place your fabric right size to right size, and then one thing to make sure when you're attaching this is to attach the um, top of the back to the half point of your waistband. So you wanna make sure that part of your waistband is flipping off. You don't wanna attach it to the whole waistband. So that top is flipping off as you guys can see and we're just gonna sew that down from the top all the way to the bottom of the leg. So I went ahead and actually attached this as you guys can see, we also have that top part of our waistband flapping off. Now this is what we're gonna use to hide the ugliness and the raw seams at the waistband. So I'm just going ahead and folding this over at the bottom and also at the side as you guys can see and this kind of tucks in 
all the uh, seam allowances and the extra seams. So I'm just going ahead and pinning this all over the waistband. So I'm pushing the uh, seam allowance and all the extra seams in, and I'm folding that top flap of my front waistband over the um, ugly seams. And we are just gonna top stitch this on the sewing machine. So I went ahead and actually top stitched this down, as you guys can see, from one end to the other end. And you're pretty much done with the waistband. Now we're gonna go to the bottom of the pants. Now you can finish this however you want, surge it, but um, the bottom of the pant ham is about an inch and a quarter. So I'm just going right ahead and actually folding an inch and a quarter down on my um, pant leg. Now, I also went ahead and actually pressed this down nice and neat just so I have a nice guideline. And this technique is actually really good for beginners that are just learning how to sew. So now I'm actually just gonna go right ahead and fold a quarter of an inch down as well. So you have the inch and a quarter fold and then we're also gonna be folding a quarter of an inch and this is where we're gonna top stitch using our sewing machine. So after top stitching, my pant looks great. Everything is nice and neat. As you guys can see, I have the hem all neatly uh, sewed up as well. And at this point, your pants are done and ready to wear. It was so great having you guys here on my channel this week. So once again, thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Sew Addicts. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, did not hesitate to check out my previous video showing you how to do the DIY drape top. All the details for the pattern for this DIY tapered pants is actually in that video as well. It is a full complete look, so make sure to check out those two videos. I really enjoyed having you guys here on my channel. If you love this video, please give this video a big thumbs up and if you have any questions or suggestions about the patterns where to find them or anything else make sure to scroll down and leave me a couple of words in the comment section I'm definitely looking at those as well hey one last thing make sure to hit down that red subscribe button to see more awesome videos from me and I hope to catch you awesome so next week mm -hmm.